the first prompt is what book on your TBR did you not finish yet? I mean, all of them, clearly, but again, I'm going to use Red Seas Under Red Skies because <laughs> here's my bookmark. It's been standing there for a year. I've been 50 pages in exactly for a year, so that's like not ideal. I do want to finish it. I will, <laughs> but I keep postponing it indefinitely. So this is certainly not ideal and I am ashamed a little bit because that very rarely happens to me but I was so not in the mood for it when I realized it was about a casino but I put it down and apparently I haven't picked it back up yet so this one it's my shame for a year you are free to embarrass me in the comments because this is embarrassing if we're being honest What's a book on your TBR that you just haven't had the time to finish yet? And for that, I'm going to count this one, actually. Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I do want to read this. I bought it, like, a couple months ago. But I've sort of been waiting for the right time. It's not that I didn't get to it yet. It's that I sort of have been waiting for the perfect time of year. I think that when it's, like, really cold, midwinter, this could be perfect. Because I think this is Russia in winter. I mean, the cover really gives you winter lives so I'm gonna read this when it's a little bit colder at least that's my plan so yeah I haven't had time to finish this yet <laughs> I am cheating a little bit but here we are so I'm gonna read this when it's colder next prompt is sort of on a similar note to the first one which is a book you haven't gotten to yet because it's a sequel Red Seas Under Red Skies I mean clearly I have a new Red Sea and a Red Sky. Republic of Thieves. I'm holding it up and I can't say it okay. Red Seas and Red Skies is the one that I haven't read yet, so I can get to Republic of Thieves, even though the plot of this one sounds a lot more interesting than the plot to Red Seas and Red Skies, which is sort of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love how this book looks and how thick it is. This is gonna be a treat if I get through book two. Although I heard that it gets worse. <laughs> so I don't know how much hope I should have for this. But yeah, Red Seas Under Red Skies. Can't read it. Haven't read the second one. Book that you've not read yet because it's brand new. I have nothing for this if we're going to be realistic. I don't buy new releases unless it's something I really want to read. I wait until it's cheap. I don't buy new releases. Books are very expensive. So. We're going to count the last book that I bought, which is why I haven't gotten to it. And that's Truth Witch, actually. This is a very pretty edition, by the way. But, yeah, Truth Witch. That's the last thing that I bought. I haven't gotten to it yet because there's a whole, a whole stack of books that I need to get to before this. But I am interested, which is why I bought it. It's supposed to have great friendships, which I am on board for. I... I'm so sick to death of romance, I need some good friendships. So yeah, we've got Truth Witch. It's new, but that's why I haven't been getting to it. It's too new. Like, it needs to get in line. Books in your TBR by an author whose book you read and you didn't like it. Well, I've got two, but I'm only going to pick up one. We have City of Ashes. Yeah, didn't even know it. And I also have Clockwork Angel, I believe, but I'm not going to just hold that up. I have these two books. Did I want to read them? No. But I bought them, so I'm going to read them because I am sort of that way. As I already said, books are expensive. And I read City of Bones. Didn't, did not enjoy myself even a little bit. So this is going to be interesting. I mean, they're easy to read. I'll give her that. But I didn't enjoy myself. Not even a little. So this is going to be a very interesting read because her world building is just not quite what I want in my books and the characters are sort of juvenile I mean yeah they're 15 which is also another problem it's almost a middle grade but it's sort of a YA and it's a weird border that I don't like skirting <laughs> so we have two books by Cassandra Clare that I bought because everyone including my mother is worshipping her so I wanted to read it but maybe I should have just bought the first book a book that you're just not in the mood for Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan. I am so not in the mood for it. I mean, I was, and it seemed interesting when I bought it. I mean, look at the cover and the thickness. and But then I started reading it in August, I think. And it was like 
it has such a tedious start. If I remember correctly, it was like a banking thing or a, some sort of report, but I just did not have the mood for it in August. Like, for this sort of book, for me to get into it, if it starts that boringly, I need to really be in the mood to read it. So I am still waiting for that mood to strike, and it hasn't yet, but it will. It will. I mean, look at the cover. It's gorgeous. So the time for this just needs to arrive, and it is not yet. <laughs> Definitely not in the mood for it yet. I really need to be able to want to get into it. A book that's so huge you've been putting it off? I don't generally do that because I don't care how thick a book is. If I want to read it, I'm going to read it and probably sometimes in a day or two. It doesn't matter if it's over a thousand pages. <laughs> Looking at you, memory of light. Yeah, so thickness doesn't matter to me. But I have been putting something off because, I mean, Count Monte Cristo. I've been putting that off because it's two books that are one book. So this is gigantic, but not because it's gigantic, because it's translated. I mean, obviously, even if I had it in English, it would be translated. It's a French book. But I don't like things translated into my language. I just can't read it. But translations are usually bad. <laughs> but I'm not just going to go out and buy it in English, so I will read it in translation. But I'm just not in the mood to read 1200 pages in my own language. I don't generally read books in my language. I read them in English. So this is gonna be interesting. I haven't read a book in my language since high school where we had assigned readings but considering that corona happened that was like a year ago. So yeah, I haven't read anything in my language in a while. I'm gonna tackle these translations but it's very long so I'm really gonna have to buckle up and get through it because I want to and it's supposed to be very good but I just regret the fact that I don't have the English translation. <laughs> Next prompt is a book you bought because of the cover. A lot of them. <laughs> a lot. Back when I was still getting into booktube and getting back into reading if we're being honest I just bought books that looked pretty that seemed interesting. We know how that went for me. Now I don't do that anymore, unless it's a very pretty book that I can get on Amazon for like two dollars or pounds or I forgot what currency I've been using, pounds. This one. I bought it because of the cover. <laughs> Might not seem like much, but I really loved the cover two years ago when I bought it. Did I still read it? No. <laughs> read like 20 pages and gave up, but I will read it. Bad or not, I will read it. <laughs> Dividing Eden. I don't know, I just love the simplistic white and the throne and just the way it looks. It's so clean to me. It's not that. It's so clean and the, the dripping ink from the top and like the... I don't know, I just love it. And the texture of it is like... It's just a lovely texture and a lovely cover. I bought it because of the cover. Yeah, the synopsis seemed, seemed interesting, but it was a cover by. Who are we kidding? I will read it. I just haven't been in the mood since I bought it. And I bought it because of the cover, so I'm definitely not doing that anymore. Only all the pretty co covers that I buy now are of books that I love already or sequels to books that I have loved. I don't buy new books that are pretty because we all know what happened. Oh my god, why did I... Yeah, it's not on my TBR, that's why I haven't to use it, but Strange the Dreamer, Muse of Nightmares. I bought the special hardcovers because I found them gorgeous and see what happens. I'm probably going to never <laughs> read those books again, but here we are. Yeah, Dividing Eden. Haven't read it, will, but definitely don't buy this. Definitely don't buy books based on covers. The last prompt is a book you find most intimidating, and for that, who are we kidding? I'm just going to be honest. 1984. Probably the only book ever that I've been intimidated by because I read like 130 pages of it and I loved it but it also kind of depressed me. I read the ending and I was really depressed. It was so not good for me at that time. I was trying to read it at the seaside. Not really a beachy book. I do want to get through it but it somehow intimidates me. I think I'm going to need to be in the right mindset to get through this book. I loved what I read but I was also kind of down. <laughs> so, definitely intimidates me a little bit. 
I'm never intimidated by size, but I am intimidated by topics that I like to read about but are still kind of bumming. <laughs> so yeah, 1984. Let me know if it intimidates you because, I mean, it's certainly a book you need to work on if you want to get through it because it's not something you pick up if you want to feel better. <laughs> That about wraps up this tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun and sort of instructional in some way. That you found some books that you want to read and that you've learned the lesson to never cover by because trust me, it's mostly not worth it. Mostly. Think of how rewarding it would be if you liked a book and then you bought a special cover. I love that and I live for it now after I have grown smart. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tag. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love discussing my TBR because it sort of reminds me sometimes of some books that I forgot I had to read. So definitely also very useful for me. And comment any books that you have on your TBR. Answer some of these questions yourselves. I mean, like you have anything else to do these days, none of us leave our houses. So I will definitely see you in the next video.